Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to do a quick review on these awesome garage decorative hardware accents. You can check these out for the best price. Just check out the links down in the description below. There are two different options when it comes to decorative hardware for your garage door. You have permanent solutions like the one I'm reviewing today, and there are some that are magnetized and they just stick on, and you can take them off whenever you feel like it. I provided a link in the description below if you want to check out both of these different types of styles, but in today's video I'll be reviewing the permanent solution, which I prefer. Here's a quick look at the screws that it comes with and the six accent pieces that are going to be put on this garage right over here. This is what it looks like before. As you can see here, it's just plain and white, no accents at all, and I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. Here's what it looks like after the install. It took about 45 minutes to complete. Most of that time took for preparation as far as drilling and measuring everything out and laying everything out just the way I wanted it. So basically uh, this is what it looks like here. You can see it has a really sturdy construction and the screws really hold it in there nice and snug. It doesn't even want to budge at all. And I left about a quarter inch gap on the edges so it doesn't rub against the garage door jam. Now one thing I do recommend is whenever you're trying to drill into this aluminum or any kind of metal is you might want to take a little nail with a hammer just to create a little divot so it's easy for you to screw the um, screws in or if you want to use a uh, drill bit that's a little bit smaller than the screw you're going to be using you can do that as well. The metal accents are made of steel and it has a really nice enamel black coating on it so it is weatherproof and it's not supposed to rust. So now that the install is complete I want to show you what it looks like whenever you open the garage and close it. A lot of people think that it sticks out too far and it won't clear but the way it works is the doors actually curve and create a gap at the very top. So as you can see here, everything clears perfectly fine, and the only thing that could get in the way would be the handles, which they do not. So just thought I'd point that out and show you in this video how everything works when it goes up and down. Here's what it looks like from the inside part of the garage. You will see the screws protrude out by about a quarter of an inch or more and that's normal. You can actually put insulation or you can put caulking around it if you'd like to dull the screw points or you can just leave it the way it is. But I'm just going to show you a little walk around of what everything looks like. You can see the four screws there and these are where the handles are at. So you got two screws right here and some down here as well. Here's a quick picture of what the garage accents look like in the daytime and this is what it looks like at nighttime with my ring floodlights on. Well that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I do highly recommend these decorative garage door accents. If you want to check these out, again the link is down in the description below. But please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you for watching.